Hello and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys and welcome to the preview of Barcelona against Las Palmas live from the camp now. It's going to be kicking off on Sunday afternoon. Now of course as always with the previews and reviews they are coming to you courtesy of One Football this season and as always I will give you the information and the latest from their app of which 92% of One Football app users of the many thousands who have voted so far they desperately believe that Barcelona will once again win in La Liga and take that points tally to 21 out of 21 so far in La Liga. Can it be done? Can we win our seventh straight league match? We're about to find out and we're going to be looking into the past, the future and the present of Barcelona against Las Palmas. The game itself will be kicking off at 4.15 local time in Barcelona. It'll be the second La Liga match of the day on that Sunday afternoon. And in terms of other games and our rivals in La Liga, Sevilla will be playing Malaga at home. They're currently in third place, Sevilla. They're playing today, that match. And then the last game today will be Leganes against Atletico Madrid. Atletico Madrid, of course, who are currently in second place. Real Madrid will play actually after us tomorrow. They'll play Espanyol at home. They're currently in sixth position in the league but I think our game against Las Palmas just before the international break of course this is the last game before that second international break of the season and I think it's really really important to go into those breaks with your momentum with your confidence and no better way to do that than to win your seventh successive league game and that's what we can do if we successfully beat Las Palmas at the Camp Nou on Sunday and certainly looking at past meetings it looks very much in our favour and it's definitely there for us to go and do that. There were actually some doubts about tomorrow's game, whether it would actually be going ahead. I'm sure you've all heard about what's happening in Barcelona at the moment with the Catalan independence referendum. There's a lot of things going on. I'm not going to get into the politics of it all, but it has been a lot of events, and they were worried about the security that would be at the game tomorrow. But it will be going ahead without any problems. It's proceeding as normal. And like I say, Barca coming into the game absolutely faultless in the league, in the Champions League, top of the league, top of the Champions League group. 20 goals scored in the league so far, just two conceded in their entire La Liga season so far but Las Palmas though it hasn't been so successful they're currently down in 16th place and they've actually just changed their coach Paco Ayesteran has been appointed as the new Las Palmas coach and this will be his first game a very tough baptism at the camp now they've currently got six points from six games which included two wins alone those are against Athletic and Malaga so far this season and I did mention in terms of previous meetings we certainly are coming into this game very big favourites because we have beaten them every single time since they've been promoted in 2015. We played them on four occasions four times. We have won. Our most recent meeting was just back in May 2017. On that occasion we won 4-1 away from home. Neymar on that day getting a hat-trick to his name Luis Suarez scoring the other goal. We then faced them again in January of this year. That was a 5-0 thumping home win. Suarez with two goals Lionel Messi and also Arda Turan and Alex Vidal getting on the score sheet on that day. I'm sure you'll remember Vidal's goal and his celebration. A nice moment for him coming into the team getting his chance on that day and then previous to that the previous season under Luis Enrique of course two 2-1 two wins during that time home and away gives us that four out of four wins against Las Palmas since they were promoted in 2015 and we certainly look comfortable against them they're a team that doesn't really set up against Barcelona to frustrate us you know a lot of teams come to the camp now and they really park the bus you know they bring all their defenders they set up two banks of four Las Palmas are a team that certainly under Kike Setien they look to play football they came to us they tried to attract they tried to play their way and no else and I think that helped us in a way because we didn't really have that restriction of being against a real wall at the back but I certainly think under Paco Ayesteran, he used to be the former Valencia coach for a short amount of time he's largely been an assistant coach though for most of his career in management so far so it's going to be interesting to see how he copes with the game tomorrow at the camp now his very first game as Las Palmas coach and I think they're, they're certainly low on confidence at the moment, they made a few good signings they got Vitolo until January he's there until Atletico Madrid transfer ban is lifted and they can sign him officially in January. They've also got Loic Remy. He's got a very, very good goal in their win against Athletic Club. So they've got certainly players that can have an impact. We've got to be wary of them on the counter, of course. They've got some pace in their team. They've got some good tacking talents. But I think in terms of where they're at at the moment, their confidence is quite low. They haven't really got much momentum in their league season so far. It hasn't really got started their season. And I think this game for us is certainly there for us to win. And speaking of the new Las Palmas coach, Paco Ayesteran, he was in his press conference earlier on this afternoon. He was 
was talking in quite a lot of detail about Lionel Messi, how he was planning on coping with Lionel Messi in tomorrow's game. Obviously a massive part of any opposition manager, they want to stop Messi. And we saw that in the last game against Girona. He was man-marked by the young Pablo Maffeo on loan from Manchester City. And a lot has been made of that now. And he was asked in his press conference, will you be man-marking Messi? And he simply said, no, that's not the approach that we're going to take. And I just want to come on to that very, very quickly because a lot of people now think that every team is going to go and man-mark Messi. And, and against Girona, a lot of people were making it like this is the first time it's happened. Believe me, every team along the line at some point in a big game or Champions League matches, they've tried to man-mark Lionel Messi. In the Champions League final in 2011, I very remember it very, very well, Alex Ferguson actually played Jisung Park in midfield simply because he wanted him to stop Lionel Messi bringing the ball in deep and then creating things, scoring goals. He, he played Jisung Park specifically in the team. That was his sole purpose. And obviously in that final, he couldn't get close to Messi. He was outstanding. So in that game against Girona, yes, Mafia was fantastic, but I just think Messi didn't really go all out. He didn't really show his full quality in that particular game, just like he didn't against Sporting. And you feel at the moment like Messi is just going through the motions. You know when Messi's really on it. You can see the look in his eye. You can see the way that he's going around the pitch. And I don't mind these little lapses because it conserves himself. He, he builds up his energy. You've got to remember that he's getting on now. He's trying to play every single game. Maybe he should take a rest, but that's not really in his nature. And he's just saving himself in some games. And I just think that Girona game was a one-off. People have tried it before, and believe me, it has failed horribly. So this is not something that's going to work every single time. It was just one of those days for Messi, one of those days for Maffeo, and in the end, it worked out. But of course, we still end up winning the game 3-0 anyway, so there wasn't too much worry in that moment. And obviously now that brings me on to the lineup that I would go with against Las Palmas tomorrow. Now, when I'm recording this video, the squad by Ernesto Valverde is yet to be announced, so I'm not really sure who's going to be in the squad, who's going to be left out. So this is basically the team that I would pick without knowing the squad and without knowing what's to come. But we've got to remember as well, the international break is very much upon us. Now that could mean one or two things. Ernesto Valverde could rest some players because he's not sure that how his players are going to be used while away on international break, or he could play exactly what he has, the best lineup that he has, and then it's whatever the national team manages what to do. It's not really his concern what goes on in international break. But I'm going to go with here Marc-Andre Ter Stegen in goal of course and then I'm going to go with Jordi Alba, Samuel Limtiti, Gerard Piquet, Nelson Semedo. I think you know that back four there, it's established it's the most commonly used one of all of our back fours this season Semedo has to play, Jordi Alba has to play you could possibly put Mascherano in there he's played very very well when called upon this season but Marlon is yet to play of course in these types of games. It would be a possible opportunity to use him. It'll be interesting to see whether he's in the squad for tomorrow but I just think Alba, Umtiti, Piquet Case to Meadow, very solid, very experienced, should do the job against Las Palmas, no question about it. Sergio Busquets in midfield are very much our heir to Busquets, or the player who could certainly fill in as his replacement is actually on loan at Las Palmas, Sergi Samper. He won't be available for the game tomorrow, he's still recovering from an injury, but Busquets, I think, needs to play in that midfield to keep everything structured, to keep everything ticking over. And then in midfield, a bit more advanced, I would make a few little bits of changes. I wouldn't start Iniesta, I think he started nearly every every single game this season and he just simply can't keep doing it you know the guy is getting on now his legs are not what he used to be I don't think he's unfit I really really don't but I still don't want to see him burn out early on in the season I think we need to rest Iniesta from the start hopefully we can get the win and we can give him a full 90 minutes rest because I think that's what he needs one also thing with him is Spain don't really care about him in international duty you've seen it last time out he played 90 minutes he wasn't really rested at all so when he goes away with Spain do not expect him to get any rest because he won't so so I think we've got to take it in our own hands tomorrow, give Danny Suarez a start in that creative midfield position. He showed his quality already this season, he's shown flashes of brilliance starting the game, coming off the bench as well, and I think he really deserves a chance in that midfield tomorrow, in that creative role. Alongside him, I would personally go with Sergio Roberto. I would give him a very fair shout in midfield. He's been played at right back against Girona, against Sporting Lisbon. He was played in the wing areas and then later on back in midfield. I think from the start, just like against in the first day of the season against Real Betis, he deserves a fair shot in that midfield alongside Denis Suarez and just in front of Busquets. I think that midfield on paper and what we know of these players, I think that looks very balanced, very controlled. They're good footballers and I would like to see how that goes at the camp now against 
Las Palmas, that would be my midfield. Denis, Roberto and Busquets just in behind. Although I wouldn't be extremely surprised to see somebody like Andre Gomez get a start. He's hardly played in the league this season. He's only had substitute appearances really to come off the bench. Also, Paulinho is an option if Valverde wants to adopt a more attacking style of play at the Camp Nou. It would be the sort of team to do it against Las Palmas, but they're not a bad team on the ball, so I would possibly think about Roberto. But if Paulinho was in the lineup, it wouldn't surprise me tremendously. And then the front three, I would go with Suarez, Lionel Messi, and I think De La Feo has to play this game. You know, he was completely left out of the squad very surprisingly against Sporting Lisbon in the midweek. He was also rested against Girona the weekend before that, so I think it's definitely a starting game for De La Feo. He deserves the start, see what he can do, and I would really love to see him get his first goal since returning to the club. He needs that bit of confidence, he needs that bit of belief in that final third that he can make the right pass, that he can make the right finish, and I really hope De La Feo starts and makes an impact here against Las Palmas. So that's basically the team that I would use, guys. I am going to go with a prediction in this game of Barcelona 4, Las Palmas 0. I am going to go with a blowout here. I think we've got a very good record against Las Palmas. They're in a difficult moment in their season. The confidence is not high. They've got a new coach. I'm not sure whether he's got his ideas across that quickly. I think at home we've been devastating this season. We've scored a lot of goals. We look good at the back at home. And I think with this team, we would certainly be putting a few goals on Las Palmas. And I would be very confident as well with that back four of keeping a clean sheet as well. So leave your lineup predictions down below, guys, as always. Also, let me know what you think the score will be on Sunday afternoon tomorrow. Barca against Las Palmas. Let's make it seven out of seven league wins. Let's go into the international break all guns blazing and with a perfect record in the league and in the Champions League too. I'll be here as always with my review of the game tomorrow. I'll also have episode two of my FIFA Barcelona career mode, which a few of you were interested in yesterday. I really appreciate all the feedback on that. But as always, if you didn't enjoy that type of video, like this one, the usual videos will be continuing, guys. Don't worry about that. I'll see you tomorrow for the game. Very, very excited for it. Hopefully, we can continue our perfect run. Until then, though, as always, Vasca El Barca. Barca! Barca! Barca!